Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Time, the Magic Time Wine Channel. I am your host Thomas, along here with my beautiful Raquel, uh, partner in crime here doing a review today about a really neat little bottle of wine that we picked up at a local wine shop here in our hometown of Napa. Mm -hmm. What is it Raquel? We have the Chateau Neuf du Pop. So this is the 2012 Vidal right. Fleury Chateau Neuf du Pop. And uh, of course we know Chateau Neuf du Pop is located in the Southern Rhone Valley and they grow quite a lot of grape varieties down there, but the predominant grapes grown in Chateau Neuf du Pop are Grenache, Syrah, and Mauvedra. And that's exactly what this wine is. It's 85% Grenache, 10% Syrah, and 5% 5% Mauvedra. And um, we tasted this just briefly prior to pushing record, but yeah. we're gonna do it again here. It's um, really interesting. It's, it's beautiful. I think it's gonna, because it's older, I think it's gonna open up more. So I definitely wanna drink mine slowly and enjoy the different phases as it opens. Absolutely. So, um, you know, as with most wines that are aged, um, there's kind of a peak point to where the wine will kind of show its um, layers and its complexity. And um, right now, right after we poured it, it's a little tight right now, but the, the wine, as we let it kind of spin in the glass, starting to unfurl more complexity. Um, mm -hmm. Beautiful color on this wine. That's the first thing I noticed when I poured the glass it is, is that beautiful. it has this lovely kind of garnet color. Mm -hmm. um, not ruby red, not purple. Exactly, yeah. kind of fading a little bit towards the edges, kind of uh, almost transparent. It's, it's lost a little bit of its uh, color density but it's absolutely just a really pretty little wine to look at. Um, it's beautiful. Medium body. I would say medium. We'll get to that. Like, like medium <laughs> body. <laughs> the nose is starting to really kind of take off here. Um, I get beautiful aromas of red fruit, um, meaning red currants, uh, cherry, um, kind of an underripe cherry, a little bit of cranberry essence to the wine. Um, for me, I pick up a lot more like the moss and the, the mineral. Definitely which a lot. I love. I love minerally smelling and minerally finishes on the, the palate. But he said something earlier when we first opened this wine up, and it really, it doesn't sound appetizing, but it really hit it on the head. And it was um, ironous. It right. smells and it even has like this ironous. Yeah, I mean, we, like, we like to, I like to refer to it as blood. It's not the greatest descriptor, but it's like, kind of oh, bloody. I can't say it's bloody. It's bloody. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's kind of bloody. It, it, it exudes this kind of ironous, metallic note to it. Um, not in a bad way, like a, you know, kind of like a rusty bike chain type note to it. It's it's really an interesting um, kind of ironous aroma and taste on the wine. And that's, you know, that's mm -hmm. that's indicative of what would happen in Chateau Neuf de Pop. There's, it's really a soil driven kind of earthy wine rather than a fruit forward like California style. This is definitely old world French style wine and there's no way in the world that people in the, the wine business would ever blind taste this wine and, and think it was a California wine. Definitely not a fruit forward no. wine. But absolutely lovely. Um, there's mineral uh, notes on the wine kind of like on the chalky side rather than mm -hmm. the kind of rather than the organic side of, of earth. I'm going to go towards the more the mineral chalky notes uh, um, on this wine. There's pushing out of the glass right now a little bit of like a dried herb component. Um, I don't know if it's like a sage or like a eucalyptus, but it's like there's a, 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 an herbal component that's starting to come out of it. She says moss. It's like peat moss. Yeah, kind of like a moss character is coming through on the wine for sure. Definitely some earthy tones. It's fun. It is. It's fun. There's some floral notes in it too, although I can't quite pinpoint them, but they're kind of like on the, they're starting, the purpley side. Starting like to lavender come out. type thing going on. Really pretty now that like kind of menthol kind of earthy eucalyptus type note is starting to like peak its its way through. Anyways, lovely, lovely bouquet. One that's just unfurling in the glass as we continue to experience it. You think they should get some? Beautiful little wine on the palate. Um, the, I would say mid mid medium body wine. Um, very integrated tannin. The tannin is very soft on the mid palate. Then it finishes with some uh, intensity and there's still some grip there. I think this wine is very young still. It has beautiful balanced acidity. I can see this wine aging uh, for another five to 10 years and uh, depending on how you like to enjoy your wine or how to, to experience it, um, the wine I think probably will improve. It's just lovely right now. Uh, if I think I had to give it a score on the 100 point wine scale, like the spectator type thing, or the Parker type thing, I would give it like a 92, maybe a 93 point score. It's a lovely wine. It is. 
Anyway, seek it out, guys. It's the Vidal Fleury 2012 Chateauneuf du Pop. Cheers.